Good morning, folks. Good morning, Xanderbot. Good morning, Mega Man. Fanfare! Where we play all the games Capcom did make. All the games. Every single one of them, almost. Most. Most of the games Capcom did make. And Hoppy's just gonna watch. Where the heck were we? Right! 20% completion. Let's go! We were having a really good time with this. Uh, if you're new to Make a Good Mega Man level, it is a bunch of... It's like usually a, uh, a contest. People make levels based on certain criteria and then are judged by a panel of judges. And then there's a... The, the, the team also makes an incredible hub world to navigate and get cool stuff in. I'm gonna say hi to our friend. We're playing his role because we get costumes and... Oh, I still haven't gotten Xanderbot's costume ready. I need to get on that. I need to get on that. That's okay, we got 80% of the game left. And Joseph here... So, weird spy tool... Radio parts, okay. If I can get some radio parts, that would be interesting. In the meantime, I can twirl on command. It's a hecking cute. Whee! Where was I? Actually. What did we do? Where did we come from? Where did we go? Oh, I think we were here. I think I gave up at some point. <laughs> this is still one of my favorite jokes in this game. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've done this one. We've done this one. We've done this one. Hello, Friendship Beetle. Oh. Oh, we have not done 86. Was 85 the last one? Oh, I guess we did 87. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. No, 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 right, it's reverse order. That's where we were. Hi, friend! I love her. I love Crazy Daisy so much. It's okay. As soon as I find where Tower is, I'll find your lower half. In the meantime, this is... Tower. Hey, I found it! Good, let's go. Let's find Daisy's lower half. <laughs> Will it show up any enemies? No. So we have magnets. Oh, those, those, those flyy toothy friends from Cutman Sage, some dude, a platform, and, well, two, two Cutman elements. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to the tower. Hi, what's up? Oh, right, 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 we're fighting. We're not talking, we're fighting. I thought we were still being chatty. We are not. Zoom! Oh my gosh, very fast, friend. Point blank, baby, with a vengeance. Okay, what do we get? Right, I have the fire. I have the, the, the make it rain. This thing, I have my buddies, the snakes. They're wonderful. Got the broom. Shoosh. Got a glob of salt water. I can make a cement block. Search missiles. And I got Tango. Hi, kitten. And Beat! Beat has a number of abilities. Alright, good. Smebble, I have looked at the new act razor. Alright! Magnet Friend's gonna try to give us some trouble. Yeah, I'm it's just I'm sorry, it is extremely not my jam. I I really, I really like the pixel art. I'm not a fan of what they've done for the remake. I, I like pixel, I think it's really neat and nice and fun, and I like modern takes on pixel art, but... Or even just, like, 2D art, but... It takes a lot of charm to get me to like 2.5D games, and that just seems a little soulless. That's just me, though, so I... I'm not sure I'll be super into it. Uh, 
I wonder what the magnets are supposed to do. Maybe they have like an, an untold like secret I am just not privy to. Hi, Eddie! Oh, thank you! That's really nice, Eddie! Ooh, we're heading into the blues. Okay. Reverse elevator. A de-escalator. The thing Mega Man never knows how to do in the future. Mega Man, okay at de-escalation. X, garbage at de-escalation. Cannot do it. Does not understand the concept. At all. Where's the legs? I want, I want Daisy's legs. Really should just be trying a different weapon. Okay, well, there's something up there. Clearly. Yep. Oopsie daisy. Literally. <gasps> the legs! I've got you, legs. Yay! I have liberated Daisy's legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, blows everything up and then, like, goes, Oh, would there have been a better way? I wish there were. But there isn't. Anyway, on to the next game. Zoo! Oh! Oh, why, wait, why are you here? Oh, because I've been using the wrong buttons. Is there something down there? Nope! That was a calculated risk. I figured, oh, there's probably nothing, but... Eh! It's not that bad to get back up there. And I kind of don't want to miss anything. This is the neat little segment, though. Zoop! Um... I thought you're su I thought they're supposed to stop just short of destroying you. I guess this one doesn't play by the rules. It's a rebel. Rebel magnets. See, we're already back here. It's all good. Uh, ah. Quick! Dang it. Switch to the... I have a little bit of flip back on my... On my stick, so it's always like a little bit of a... Oh wow, you are not weak at all to this. But you still die to it. Good. Kabuso man, what are you doing here? You're killing me. You're killing me, kid. Oh right, the the flames, the flames of killing me. No, you don't! Telefrag by Kamuso Man. Oh, just putting an enemy right before the door is a little bit rude. Just a tiny bit. Okay, same weakness. Because the slash and the dash get different weaknesses. Well, this isn't going great. This is not going great. Woo! It was close. This close. Hey, we did it! Parmesan, what do you gotta say about Tower? The whole first half of the level is alright. You gotta. Ooh! Ooh, one second, one second. Amber has awoken. 
My love is awake. I'm sorry, there's- okay, Amber just shares some really good, some really good Toho. I'm sorry, okay, let's go, sorry, uh, yes, yes, reviews. Yeah, hi, welcome to Make a Good Mega Man level. Uh, there's a panel of judges, there's reviews, we get to see, hey, what did the people think of this level? So, Parmesan, the, this, uh, there's, uh, the four judges for this game are Parmesan, PK Wiggy, Mjack, and Freems. So Parmesan, That's great. thank you for the follow. The whole first half level is all right. You get the basic introduction. You're in the round, round. Just placing combinations of two assets in an empty room isn't getting you brownie points. Yeah, there's, especially near the, in the first half, the little like cutting things seem that they don't do a lot. Even it is important to show to put them there so you understand what they do, but they don't seem to be placed specifically for anything. Yeah, the second half is where you start to actually do things with. with the tops. Oh, is like the platform things? The... Oh, or like the, the, the... The downward top section is in a boring elevator section. Okay, no, it is a top. Okay, yeah, top platform. But, yeah, it's still bad. Yeah, the downward elevator is a little bit easy. Right, because the spikes aren't death spikes. Just damage boosting through the whole thing is very easy and negates the challenge. Yeah. Last section was also too good, but way too easy to Parmesan cheese! Ha <laughs> ha! The going back and forth is fun, but the magnets let you just skip half the challenges. Not even rewarding. Yeah, it's... That was, 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 was alright. You know, works that it's in this tier specifically. PK Wiggy says boring. Collection of blend rooms. Everything ends before anything interesting has a chance to happen. <laughs> to the point. M. Jacques. Says one of the level, some of the level design is minimalist. Nay, Spartan. It almost loops over into brilliant. A blank room with a single blader in it, very chic. Way better than a room with a dozen bladers, right? But that emptiness gets boring fast. Yeah, because there's a lot of it. Level never really figures out how to use the cutters or magflies in any interesting setup. They're called magflies! That's so cute! They're, right, there's no theming. It's called tower, but I guess it's just a big bunch of rooms. One of the main reasons why 8-way scrolling doesn't work in a Mega Man context, the running gun aspects of the average Mega Man level are predicated on the stage geography, 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 um, being as obvious That's as possible. Great. Go right, go up this ladder, not into this pit. It's why leaps of faith are bad design. Yeah, because you, you've... Okay, that's actually a good point. I don't think I've seen it made before, that Mega Man depends on the player knowing where to go. It's not an exploration game. Or if it is, it needs to be, like, tubes. Horizontal, vertical, pick one. That's where you're going. The rest is death, Mega Man. At least fighting Kamuso Man is fun. Yeah, that's that's fair. That The Kamuso Man arena was really well thought out. Yeah, um... Failure? Failure? Yes. Yes. A hundred percent. Yep. Sometimes your voice just goes... Ah. It, it... Muscles are tricky when it comes to, like, you can teach muscles to do new things, but they will get grumpy. That's just part of the process, unfortunately. Sometimes a level's worst sin is that it's just kind of boring. Yeah, gimmick show up, night of time to run, run, run. Thing with long vertical rooms that you're meant to descend is that it's very easy to just skip past all of them if you... Yeah. Just let people do that. The big open room near the end was just strange to navigate to the point where I'm still not sure if I did it in the intended method. Same, but I did it in a couple of methods. I One of them must have been intended. It was climbing a few ladders, avoiding the cutters, but yeah, I wonder if, like, an, an enemy you could deal with while dealing with the cutters would have been too much or just enough. I don't know. I wonder if there's like vertical like are there like ever um moving ladders in Mega Man? Like a vertical conveyor belt that you have to like move up or down and, or, and it just keeps that'd be kind of interesting. It's a tower, just not much more than that. Fair enough. We are getting into the middle of the road tier. But in the meantime I got your legs back! 
Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, Daisy's just Daisy's just having a rough time in general. Who? Spirit magnet. Electric weapon, yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Just wants those boots off. Oh. Okay, we have to find the magical amount of charge to put in here. Oh. Too much. Oh, okay. I, I got it. Okay, I'm trying... Yay! I was not trying to fill the gauge in one go. I was just trying to find the rhythm just by feel. We got the iron boots, though. Heavy iron boots that are conveniently your size. They're tough and stylish, but their heaviness would slow you down too much. So we're not going to do anything with it. But we will take that this pair of boots to our friend. Yeah, we did it! Oh, yeah, sorry. I That's just kind of the thing I do. That's fair enough. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad, Daisy's. Aw. Doing okay, Daisy? What a pickle! Alright, I'll be right back. I need to absolutely, immediately give this to my friend. Let's hit the deck. Uh, wrong place? No? Yes? No? I am getting dangerously away from where I need to be. Zoop, 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 zoop. Over here, maybe? One day I'll figure out where everything- Yay, there we go. Let's go say hi to our amnesiac friend. Your family's in another game. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, what about missing pieces, then? They could propel you via something. Huh. Alright, good to know. Alright, alright. Junk dealer will be back. That's the wrong one. I got excited. Okay, let's get back to it. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Yeah. All right, so we did this. We did the tower. Egg shortage? Oh, no. Uh, fresh fish instead of eggs. How are you going to make... Oh, okay. Lead egg. Hopping. Lead eggs level. Hopping. High above danger. Good marks. Low marks. Middle of the road marks. Okay. A divided. A divided level with hoppy friends, mines, shooters, and whatever that small snowball shaped robot is. Alright, let's go check this out. There's a junk golem. Oh yeah, I, I've met the junk golem. Oh no. Oh gosh. Green teleporter, why are you here? You had to check. I figured that like... I, I kind of like doing this like as we go. I... I kind of don't want to... Wow, they take a long time to explode. I kind of don't want to get too... It's like, it's a too much of a good thing thing, you know? I don't want to be like... I don't want to do all the quests now and then just have nothing to show for it later. I want to I make it last. Which is a rare thing for me, who usually wants everything. Oh, this is going to be a problem. <gasps> no! Okay. That was good use of theming to, like, when the... Um, when you make a pit, that ends in a... Ouch! Gosh, you hurt so much. When you make a pit, that ends in, like, a... What? Complete back black border it indicates that it's a death pit. 
I might visit the Junk Golem a little bit, though. Because I do want to have... S I like the cool stuff. Beat, buddy! Get that! You're too late! You're too late, Mega Man! Couldn't get the thing. Will fire protect me from these bullets? I guess we'll find out. Thanks, buddy! Haha! <laughs> Cannot be harmed! I have been harmed! A little bit. Oh gosh! Okay, don't panic. What if everyone died? Just, you know. No! What well, could make it in time? What if there's anything over there? Maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. It actually is where I'm supposed to go. I'm liking these these mines used as temporary, like... No! What? No, what the... I just want to go down the... I guess I can't. I guess I'm dead. It's weird. I forgot to check if that was it. Death pit. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, well... What if you all die? Oh, wait, I forgot. Be patient. Oh, it's just a little bit too late, buddy. That is death down there. Good. This is the Mega Man. I am playing as a role because you get costumes in this game. And I have chosen the role costume because I like role and she's good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Message from Dr. Light. Those landmines are peculiar. Whether they go off immediately or after a moment is up to chance, but it looks like they will always flash more rapidly when close to detonation. Pay close attention, Mega Man. And fight on to defeat Dr. Wily. It also means I will be making a custom, uh... I'll be making a custom skin very soon. I just need to find the time for it. Anyway, uh, it's pain time. Oh. Okay. I understand what we're doing. Oh, that's really clever. That's really clever. And I failed. I miraculously failed. Well, it's a good thing I have B. I, I understand only too late what we were supposed to be doing. There, cowboy. What if you just did not exist, in the sense that you exploded before I got there? What indeed? I have found a solution to the problem of you. Okay. What? But? But? What? Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, this sucks. You really needed a checkpoint there. Ah! 
Ha! <laughs> yeah, leap it directly into the bullet, Sandra. That's a good idea. Oh, these things explode in a chunky way. Fine, I'll engage with your gameplay! Okay, what the heck is happening here? I still don't know. I somehow made it! That was weird and very janky. Thank you. Rejecting a significant reading from the room ahead, however, it doesn't seem to be very strong. It can't be right there. Maybe a trap in there. Be careful, Mega Man. Wow, good work getting this far. Here's a tip. Crickets like me will continue to support you in different rooms if you can stay on our backs. Try it with my friend up ahead. You might die several times. But you will get something good if you succeed. Okay. Hey. Oh, no. Aha. Death is what you- Oh! Would have eventually fallen down there. I understand. But I guess we were supposed to go left because without the friend we couldn't. Alright, let's try this. Cause like normally you would just fall in. I'll just I'll just use rush. There we go. Okay, that was interesting. Gotta be kidding me. I really should just be using Rush this entire time. There's no reason not to use my friend. My kitten friend. Oh no, that's gonna kill me! You're gonna kill me! You're- you are now a liability. Come on! I'll just- yeah, okay, never mind. Why didn't I use Jet there? You did it! Great Thank job! Thank you! Thank you, Meta Nightmare. I never met a nightmare I didn't like. No, I- I- I have. I have, to be fair. But I'm glad you specifically are here. I did it again! I can't react. Okay. I gotta pause and switch. That jump is a little bit too rude. I think if this level had better checkpoints, or like more ge was more generous with the checkpoints, it wouldn't be quite as big of a chore.
It's jet time. Jump, jump. <laughs> what if we didn't? Are you kidding? No! No! No, you don't do that to someone! React in an extremely short amount of time. Stay on or die. Nope, you had to stay on. You die. That's just rude. That's just extremely rude. Jump, jump. I appreciate the little jump friend here. Alright, good. Okay, stay on. Because you see, you, okay. When the, when the screen, like, scrolls, the first thing you see are, there's spike. I'm gonna fall on the spike. I need to go to the side. But then the enemies appear after that and reveal that, oh, wait, no, you're fine, actually. But by that point, you're already headed into the pit. <gasps> Again, it keeps doing this. That was way too close. I would be so angry if I missed that. Thanks for nothing, Eddie. Yeah, I made it all the way here. It's amazing. We're gonna have to confront our explosives-obsessed boss. Okay. Oh, it's Bomb Man. Fire is usually good. Oh, I'm out of fire juice. What if I doused you? What if I ran out of every weapon? Sir, what if I just shot you with missiles? Have you considered being shot with missiles, Bomb Man? Mimic chest. Once again, I return from another simple mission. All oh, right, the box cartel. Is that a box? My apologies, boss. I didn't mean to hold you up. Please don't scold me again. Here's the data you asked for. I don't know if that's how I spoke earlier. I don't care. Yes, everything seems to check out. I didn't want to be. Used. I didn't want us to be cutting it so close. But as long as the job gets done. Call everyone here, the ship will be over us any minute. Oh, this is an underwater base. What, what is going on? <laughs> what am I looking at? Okay, so you have old, old, old man, old man Wiggler. You have, uh, Whatever that enemy is, in a cute hat, and you have the- that- that, like, section boss! With, a, like, a little rose and a tie, that's incredible. <laughs> little roll out, and then crush her! Oh, I love- I love that it, like, fits, because I'm playing roll right now. And if that fails, get as much cash as we can and bail! Are y'all ready to go? Totally pumped, boss. I just finished lifting 500 quad kilograms weight. Woohoo! Simple and clean job. Wow. Absolutely 102.54% certain, but only a 2.54 margin of error, boss. Perfect. 
Oh, I love... Okay, I love this friend. They all have, like, Ws. I wonder if they're, like... That means they're with Dr. Wiley, or... They just have a different name that has the W letter. So everyone's ready. Good. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Let's get on with the show. Blocky pull a lever. That's Blocky. can't be good. There's a message from the ship paw. Please remain until the ship is not sinking. There seems to be some form of interference blocking our movement. Please remain calm. We'll oh, we're being high. Oh, that's, I'm, sure that's, I'm sure that's fine. It's been a takeover. Hello, people of the SSL, or how you all enjoying your vacation? What's happening? Is it time to get serious? Just indefinitely prolong your stay here for free. <laughs> Everyone's it's really happy real. about it. <laughs> A tetamino. I don't know who that is. You can call me Don and Tetamino. Everyone aboard is ship now a hostage. Don't worry, I won't harm anyone, but until I see a total of way too many zenny delivered to our Swiss bank account, this ship ain't moving. Okay, let's just block the last two. So that's one, two, three billion. Three billion dollars equivalent. Here we take. A Tetamino was the boss for Mega Man 8, you have to kick a ball at. Okay. Hi, Emmy. Hello. Got strong subordinates here that have cut off all external phone lines. You can't call for help. Don't use your cell phones. That's, that's rude. You don't even know where underwater hideout is or the fact that we have an underwater hideout. So don't think you can fight us or you'll regret it. Your only hope is that blonde here roll. I know she's somewhere on board. I love it. I love that the story switches to your character. You'll have to put your hopes in her. And when you see her fail, <laughs> you've already held Don out of me, a Tetamino sighting. I love it. What a peculiar predicament. Well, back to my hot tub. So called birthday planner, if only I'd noticed sooner. I <laughs> wonder what vacation when nothing wild happens. Well, sorry, Mega Man, that's not how this works. <laughs> All right, fair enough. They they seem to have figured it out pretty quickly. That's not how things work, though. You can't just have a copy of a computer and have it behave this. Never mind. There's a giant fortress under us. No. Looks like a repurposed military base has quite a ferocious defense system. Hmm. I'll need this. Yeah. Can you come back once you have like? I don't know, a hundred or so energy elements. What if? Yeah, digital material. I... <laughs> don't bring the jacuzzi out. A ton of simulations, a ton of energy elements. Right! Right! That totally worked. That That's what happened. <laughs> it's a risky gamble, but eh, whatever. We're putting your hopes on a vague miracle. Eh. Bet it all on a miracle! We must believe for the people on this cruise ship and their wallets. <laughs> Rush beat, let's go. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, this is so cool. I really hope this works. Hurt. This is yeah. You know, these are, don't don't you know? Don't give up yet. 
Oh yeah! We gotta believe! Sorry, one day you'll have a regular vacation. Not today! I have instructed everyone to pretend everything is fine. Please continue enjoying your time. Please don't talk to every single person to expect them to say something different. No, wait, that... Oh yeah, I should try to go find, uh... Try to go find the junk friend. Hint junk. Junk hint. We've been hijacked. What a predicament. Nice job. Thank you for the hose. Where could junk friend be? No. No. That's weird meta. Weird meta friend. Oh, wait, not wrong. <laughs> oh no, beat! Enter the eye of the storm. Ooh. All right. Where would you place a hint? A hint junk. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice! Best of luck! One day I'll find you, junk man, and your hints. And your junk hints. That's a truck! Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, Doc Ron challenged me to a waste race on the mini golf course. You'd think I'd win, but I just got wasted! I recycled beer his beer bottle. That guy must have made himself a liver out of serotonin. A passenger left a credit card somewhere near the swimming pool. I pity whoever finds it. Hmm. Uh. No, 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 no. I'm looking for like a uh, 65th place. Oh, all right. Well, I guess if I find, like, the mini golf course, there's something between that and level 65. Well, that's something to go on, at least. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Hey, nice! Yeah, all offense, no defense. You're a glass cannon, Lightning Lord. Turn in your badge. Oh, I like that Lightning Lord is trying to figure himself out. This is really good. Alright, well, back at it, then. Alright. We were busy trying to help people and do levels here, but we keep getting interrupted. If only our ship hadn't been hijacked. So... What the heck was this? Oh right, this the nightmare, the hopping nightmare we've been through. Parmesan, what do you think? Oh boy, this level is kind of weird. The main thing, the first half is really good. You take the crickets, which you find like annoying as a beginning, you make them really fun, mix them with the landmines. That's the essence of the stage has been really good. It starts it starts out so fun and energetic that until you hit the outside section, then you start to see how the crickets can be bad. Yeah, the the one cricket where you jump between the second one is the first. Yeah, there's you have to like go to the second and then go back to the. That one was a little bit unclear. And then the room before the mini boss is just what? I got it by having two crickets climb vertically on top of each other. This room made me realize how weird it is to have too many crickets interacting at once. Then you have a longish mini boss, which you know. What even was the mini boss? I forget. Next section continues to be kind of being vague. 
Right. It's, yeah, you have to take it down with you, but then it gets in the way of the next cricket and you can yeet yourself into the spikes. I barely avoided that thing happening. Yeah, it's just... I don't want to call this level terrible. There's some really neat ideas, but yeah, I erased most of the second half, honestly. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. This level really got long and the... it really spaced out the checkpoints too much. It's weird since the first half is so forgiving and fun and the second half is really hard and confusing. Yeah. Oh, right, the hippo! Right, right, the hippo. The crickets just... so this... okay, Parmesan, it's okay. PK said, eh, crickets just don't work for me. It's just... oh, it just don't work for this precision platform, and that's the big problem. That one climb before you meet the first cricket, and yeah, it's just... I'd like to see more of the carrying over a cricket from previous room. That was really neat. That, that, because that's how Mega Man works. Like, that would have been really cool. M. Jacques did not like it. Oh boy, you want to know how much I hate crickets? Yeah, the walls are made of the spikes. The only non fatal terrain is a set of landmines. My fav this was my favorite part of the level. It was the screen with the fewest crickets. <laughs> Why did everyone who got the Bright Man Grasshopper in their box decide they needed to stick them on top of endless floors of death spikes? That's, huh. Endless rows of crickets bounce around the spiked wall man's innards is a really good way to describe this. Yeah. There's probably not enough checkpoints, for sure. I did like the scene, the scene at the end where the, where the crickets leap post past a wall of bullets, but that's just a glorified cutscene. That was kind of cool, though. That was kind of cool. I like that part. You can ride the cricket as the victory fire play. That's really neat. Oh, the functionality score is low because you can jump above the screen in a bunch of these and skip. Oh. Huh. Freem says... It's important to try to stay positive even if I sound like a grump half the time. Mm -hmm. That's okay, though. Sometimes you're just grumpy. You have given me a vendetta against crickets. Instant death, weird stretches. All right, landmines. The landmines were really used, I think, well in this one. Like as little like exploding platforms. That over spikes, that was cool. That was really cool. Your biggest mistake was relying on the crickets. You're doomed, Mega Man. Yep. I had, a, I had an okay time with it. Hey, buddy. Sheldon Yogsvagging Igrich, you get down from that table right this instant. Oh no, Sheldon's up there. Sheldon! Koto Koto, I'm just an egg and life is a nightmare! Oh no! Oh, Poor Sheldon. Anyway, time to play Pan the Cake's Forest Castle. Again, a really high score, really low score, and middle of the road. Minus four function penalty. So you have fire, you have the bulb flowers, flying mats, turtles, and a girder? Maybe? Let's check it out. And a skip teleporter. Let's go. All right, let's try to... Let's try to completely fail. Nope, all right, I have to check. Da -da 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 -da. Nothing, nothing's gonna try to come out and treat me? Really? Okay. Alright, um... Oh, this is table this. Okay. Fair enough. No rain flush here. You gotta, you gotta fight. You gotta fight the, the flowers. Fight the flower. Okay. What if I didn't, though? Ooh, Mega Man 1 castle. Hello. Yeah, I had to try. Yee! Yee! Yeah! No. You gotta commit. 
You gotta get crushed and die. Well, you don't gotta. You don't actually have to. Don't care. Oh yeah, I should've... Uh... I'll just be doing this. Oop. Cut in half. By the time you notice, you've been cut in half. Alright, don't get crushed by a girder. Got it. Don't? You didn't get crushed by a girder. Good. Good work, you. Me. Checkpoint reached. Grass is in front of me for some reason, and there's a weird noise somewhere. Don't like that. No key. Guess I'll go hunting. Bye! Oh, interesting. Alright. Aha! Oh. Why would you put that there if I can't do that? It was like a really neat little hidden thing and then you put nothing in it. No, grab the... Beat, grab the thing. Beat, grab the thing. Beat! Grab the... Get it myself, I guess. Shout out to that turtle. Doing its best to be a bother. Not gonna let you bother me, though. Da -da 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 oh, gosh. Oh, no, it's my click and play games coming back to haunt me. Oh, you okay, using the fire as a shield for that boss? That's really clever. That was really clever. That's really, really clever. Right, I can turn off speed attacks. That's fair. I did the thing. Oh, I have the key. That's why I was doing this. Okay. Alright. Should probably have put it, like, one square up so you couldn't just... Try to slide through it. I don't know. You don't really lose anything from doing it. It really feels like that was designed. Maybe I just got unlucky, but it feels like it was designed. Ah! That's very rude. That was just me. That was just- I failed that jump. Alright, let's not. No, it's okay, Clary. Just, uh, maybe, maybe like, maybe a, a streamer channel is not the best place for that kind of venting, especially when it's not really on topic. I, I do, I do sympathize though. Just gotta deal with 
this turtle. Okay. Oh, that's a... I didn't even notice the chain on that one. Okay, here we go. Not too bad. Excuse me, what? No, what? Minus four function penalty. There it is. There it is. That flame was not solid. That was not a solid flame block. Minus four function penalty. so cool! That was so cool! Okay, how come I... Was Rush Jet's vertical function to say... It, at some point I just could not... I just could not control Rush Jet vertically. Okay, the... Okay, I misunderstood function penalty. The dev team had to fix this to make it playable. That's a function penalty. Fair enough. That's, that's my favorite thing. I love doing this. I love doing this so much. Well, and then I'm dead. That's, that's, uh... I'm really disliking this part. So I guess the, hey, that, the, um, yeah. If it's still playable, the dev team isn't gonna fix it, but... The, the the level creator will get a bad mark because hey you're let's have an invisible an invincible enemy and the only way to reach the platform where they are is to make them leave the screen. some uh, special weapons, but I don't have anything I can pierce. This doesn't pierce. Uh, does water pierces, right? Because they have to make it useful. Oh, but this enemy is actually invincible. You want it? There we go! You gotta give me, like, some time to hit you. Okay, it pierces, but it doesn't actually damage if they can't be damaged. Alright, what nightmare is gonna be here now? Oh, this nightmare. Come on! The octopus is gonna be happy. 
really aggravating. And I keep hitting the platform with that. I'm really tempted to just skip this one. It's just getting, like, rude beyond the rudeness I will tolerate. And then I jump the frick, like, a couple pixels too early, and then I'm dead. You're not supposed to jump, maybe you're supposed to like slide off. Yeah, I'm done. I no, I don't want to do this anymore. Nope, this can't be worth it. This cannot be worth it. Oh good, one last one. Thank you. Appreciate this. It's probably why they put one in this room. I hate this. Forest castle. I'm really mixed on this level, Parmesan says. Definitely has its fair share of issues, but it's not all bad. Number one, this level is too long. Is okay, not just too many screens, but really lacks flow. Sort of drags from area to area. Uh, you do start outside and enter a base, but then there's outside sections, it just gets messy. Things just happen, as opposed to things happening for a reason. Yeah, the yeah, right, the um the sunflowers. You can just you can just leave. You can just hit the bricks, just don't engage with them. Walk past them. Yeah, the oversized stuff, the little fire used, used as a shield for the turtle, that was really clever. Really, really clever. Number of individual screens I really like. The one with the plant on the swinging platform with you. I didn't even get to that because I just lost patience. The level feels like it's ending at multiple checkpoints. Just feels wrong. Multiple areas are just too instant death heavy and get tedious. Yep. Level isn't awful, it's just lacking, has no real difficulty curve. Yeah, that incredibly long, swingy room could have been two rooms with a checkpoint in the middle. Anything. Hi, Pyro! Yeah, you... I got really angry at this level. I just, I skipped it. I just can't. I just can't. PK Wiggy says, When it started, it didn't seem like much, but I started to enjoy it more and more. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wow, wait, that's actually, like, a good review. Even fighting enemies on the platform was a hassle at times, it was still fun. Because I always despawn them. I I just make them... How do you despawn them without them respawning? I don't know how to do that. The side path with the key was clever. And again, the like the, the turtle boss, as hilarious as it is to just have a pixeled up boss, having the fire bar thing be a shield is so clever. Big flowers! Would have been fun to make it to a big flower, but alas, that room was just too... The boss is a huge letdown. Well... You can just hang out on the, on the right and snipe it. I... I'm glad, I'm glad it's possible to beat this level with cheese, though. You know what's worth as a level that just kinda exists? A level that just kinda exists forever. <laughs> I'm talking I are of one mind on this. Why is this level as long as it is? There's an uninterrupted horizontal stretch in this level that's, by my rough estimate, two dozen screens long. By the time you hit a screen transition, you will have traveled a further distance than any stage in any of the NES Mega Man titles. This isn't even the halfway point of the level. 
What? For real? It's not like there's any sense of progression or objective or sense that you're getting close to the finish. After what feels like a nerdy, Sorry it just ends. You, but I thought you might like oh. What do I remember from this level when it does end? A password or fight from hell. I don't even remember password. -er. Yeah. Killing the same enemy a dozen of times before before the yeah, destroying the same thing like a dozen times before it because it keeps getting respawned by the platform. Enemies that are stretched out Mario Three Giant Kingdom style for some reason. I I like those. Pointless backtracking segments using keys. I think that one key thing was kind of okay. A, a bizarre final boss that I can beat without moving. Why? Yeah, this level. Exact count. Is it 13 screens? That sounds like a lot of screens. What's my favorite snack that no one else knows you like? No, no one else you know likes. I like those little soda um, gummies. I just think they're they're good. I just think they're neat. There's a one brand specifically, a kind of like two color one, that's less transparent and more like opaque. Uh, it is the most neutral candy I've ever eaten. It isn't good, it isn't bad, it just is. And when you eat it, after that, you've eaten candy. That's that's it. It is the baseline. Anything better than it is good, anything worse than it is bad. I haven't been able to find it recently, but if I ever do again, I'll be really happy to keep some because I just like having this sort of, like, you know, this sort of baseline around. Is 13 screens big for Mega Man? I... I remember, like, stages, but I don't really remember, like, specific, like, numbers. I'm, I'm, I'm not really good at estimating distances. It's a third of a normal level. Okay. This level felt much like it's titled. It's completely all over the place. Oh, it's tiled. Sorry. Manages to keep using all the box elements. It feels like there's little rhyme or reason to what's going on. So many of the rooms feel like it can be easily ignored. Yeah, and I just, if I hadn't run out of jet energy, I probably... I just didn't want to give this level of satisfaction of using a W tank on it. Getting a key when the game is going to drop you back off at the door anyway. We could have just gone straight the whole time. Yeah, that's actually a good point. There's no reason we did all that. No, it was kind of neat. I guess it's thematic, but if the theme held better, it would have been interesting of like, ah... The gate is closed, then you go into the sewers, and then, aha, now you've gotten the entrance or something. Uh, perhaps it's to save on space, yeah. It didn't take long for the level to overstay its welcome. Mm. <laughs> the, I, I think, I, yeah, I think the furthest I got was the little fire thing that was not actually a platform, and then when you try to jump on it, you just fall into spikes and die, and you have to redo the whole room. I... Nope. That was that one was too much for me. Yeah, Malamut, exactly. They keep one of that little soda gummy under glass as the metric unit of candy. Candy quality. I think there's a reason why in Mega Man 9 there's often not a ton of enemies when you go over a stretch of swings. It's because the very act of building momentum causes the enemies to respawn constantly, and I hate it. Boy, does it make that second incredibly annoying. Yep. I... Especially because the, the, all the enemies... Like, this might have just been an unfortunate situation with the box of tricks, but all the enemies in that segment are invincible. You have to wait until you can actually shoot them, so you can't even do a quick, like, up and jump and up and jump and deal. No, you have to wait for them to reveal themselves to be vulnerable before you can deal with them. And on swings, that's just not gonna work. So maybe this, like, this whole concept for that room was maybe not ideal. I really needed some sitting down and focusing. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of everything buffet. Yeah. So we got Armoroid in the box, so it's already at a disadvantage. What is Armoroid? Is that the turtle? Could be the turtle. I'm gonna guess it's the turtle. It's a turtle. Has anyone else noticed I am not food? I'm a robot that just looks like a crab. Here's my name. My name is right here on the menu! Oh no! Oh no, Claw, I'm so sorry. They're not canon. 
They are cannibals if they're robots. Fair enough. Hi, Java. Roll my bookie key. I don't know that song. Sorry. Alright. We made it. We made it. Oof. We made it through. Yeah, one more. I'm over time, but I just want to... I want a palate cleanser. Piece of cheese 87 and egg mega... Oh, an e oh, piece of cheese 87 and egg. Your morning show radio host. Megatroid. Okay. Lowish scores except one person liked it. Is it MJock who liked it? Wait, no, not yet, not yet. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Let's go. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. You have Pyro has bad news. I have nothing. Music's great though. Oh, oh, oh no, spike drop. Oh. Wait, I know this music. Where is that tune from? Oh, it's Metroid. Yeah, <laughs> where, where could it be from? I wonder. Will I ever get the timing? Yes. And no. Well, that was my chance. Okay, bye. Let me just get inside of your hitbox. Ooh. Hey, there we go. Is... Oh. Oh, we're back here. Aha. I understand. Oh, whoops. This one was it. This one was death. Surprise. That one was death. And you have to recollect them when you die. Whoopsie daisy. Oh. You really... Okay, I understand the dedication to Metroid. You really should have put a background to tell us... Which which tiles are dead? I think we deserve that kind of information. So now I get to go here. Oh wait, do I need to go back and use the cement? I need to use the cement. I understand. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's a Super Metroid remix of music. Interesting. Alright. So we go back over. Zoop! Zoop! I hope I don't die! I hope I don't die. Oh, go. Oh, God. Oh, go. Uh huh. Okay. Alright. Alright. I get. I get. No! Come on. Okay. Hi bubble, hi bubble, 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 bubble,
Oh, yeah, the... I was thinking, like, it's a little bit rude that they don't refill your energy. Oh, it's because of... that's how it was coded. Okay, fair enough. Those sound effects are from Challenger from the future. Interesting. Just use the thing you're you just, just use the weapon you have been given, Xander. Xander, you have been given a weapon. Just use that. This contest banned almost all custom coding. Finacid is obnoxious, there wasn't really anything the level creators could do. Fair enough. I appreciate that they give a respawning energy specifically for that. Why did I go kiss that giant bird? I, I, there was no need for that. Okay. Or I could just do that. Thankfully, I have some energy left. It's a good thing I do. Hello? Are you spikes? Will you kill me? I don't know. Are you just a piece of background? But there's no background in this. I'm gonna assume you're spikes that will kill me. I hope you don't kill me. This is so much better than that other level that kinda did this. Yay! Infinite Rush Coil. Infinite Buddy. Please checkpoint though. Please checkpoint. For the love of gosh, please checkpoint. Thank you, kitten. I'm gonna I'm gonna Jupiter Hornet it. I don't care. No check point. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No, not you. Oh, we're back here. You say this as someone who got an obnoxious asset. Fair enough. Oh, and we're back at the start, but now we have infinite rush coil. Infinite Kitten. Infinity Kitten! Checkpoint re- oh. Okay. And then the level lands, right? And then- and that's just- the, that's just a funny gimmick. Ha ah, ha, you thought we'd have more- No, you, you level lands. Then the level lands. It's a really clever- like, it's really clever what this level doing, and also it is... Oh no! It's really good that... What the heck is that? Like, the checkpoints are good. It's not doing too much. I just wish it was over right now. Goodbye, Joe! See you never. What the heck is this? Don't kill me. Thank you. This music is very loud. There's really no need to put a fan there. Unless the fan was helping me, in which case it didn't really do a good job of it. Bye! I tried to jump, but I was a frame late. We'll never tire of getting close enough to Joe to, like, shoot inside of his I should just not. I should just not walk on these because... It's hard to tell where you are um, when it comes to like the position of the spin, so that when the platform suddenly thrusts you forward, you kind of eat it. Right. Yeah, like that. Whatever, I'm fine with it. Oh no, no, not this though. I should be using a cement to give myself an extra little boost there. 
there a reason why the music's so loud? I'm gonna keep kissing Joes until they stop. Does the music get louder every time? you to do some, like, ridiculous juggling to get past. Why? 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 Holy crap! I want to like this level! And I missed my chance. Yes, there we go. That's what I've been trying to do this entire time. There we go. Oh, they're not death spikes. Thank goodness. I don't! I don't have anything! I... I'm just... you... If you just hold left, it doesn't work. Jet. I'm sure someone will, will give me a, a kitten. A kitten with a jet. Oh, oh, no, different one. Different one. There we go. Now to not die, though. Don't. Now 
You only really need the one hit point. I hope I get some help at the end, because it would be really unfortunate to just die after this long segment. Oh, thank you for the checkpoint! Really appreciate it, that was really nice. Mother brain! Oh. They kill you. Good checkpoint. I appreciate the checkpoint. No? I think, oh, do you have to, like, press both at once? Or... Oh! Okay. I pressed the button enough. All right! I know you're trying to help. I know- oh god. Gosh sakes. Oh, you actually do work. see the bottom of the thing. I really, I really love it when, um... When there's enemies who are really just there to, um... Knock me off of stuff that will then also cease existing. <laughs> I should just- yeah, the- Xandra, the idea is you're supposed to actually engage with the level and not try to skip it with Rush Flail. I understand the concept. I- I very- I understand that very well. The thing is, though, there's some jumps like these that are very, very, very specific. And also, sometimes there's going to be fans. I don't know if they're going to push me or pull me. I'm assuming they're going to push me. There's a couple in here, in this game, in this level, that would pull me, though. And I found that a little bit confusing, so I don't know. Alright, um, I'll just, I'll just die and try again. I don't know why that didn't work this time. Do I have to wait until they flash? They flash? Why was it working and now it now it isn't? Okay. I don't know why it would make a sound, and then sometimes it wouldn't. Yeah, the fact that these are falling platforms is a, a little bit... Oh, well, bye. Thanks. Sorry. Sorry for everything, Rush.
I hate you so much. Oh my gosh. The, let, sure. Let's have... It's enough to have the platforms that go away. It's enough to have the platforms that go away. You don't also need to also have enemies that will swoop in and knock you off the platforms, and therefore that means you're dead and you have to redo the boss fight again, because the platforms go away. That's enough. You already have a, a, a tricky situation, and now I'm dead again. And you didn't even give us a weapon that would let us deal with the enemies that fall down, so we kind of have to, like, just hope for the best. This is me trying the gameplay just at the last second, and then you have these. And then I'm just- I'm just trying! I'm really trying! But there's these, like, fan things that just, like, knock you off of the platforms you're trying to hit. I guess it's random, sometimes it's left-right, sometimes it's right-left, and you can't tell. Okay, I'm done! I'm done! No, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, level. I'm, I'm, I can't, I can't. I'm so sick and tired of this level. We did it! We beat Mother Brain. Fifteen times. Eventually she'll die. Yeah, I... I figured, like... I, I hadn't really gotten the timing of, like, if it lights up sooner or later, but if I... Not knowing when the sequence starts kind of threw me off a little bit. Oh, what a bad time. It, it was really interesting right up to the end where... Why? Like, it would have... It's like, pick two. You could have had the, the falling platforms and the enemies that come down. You could have had the enemies that come down, the fans, but the platforms stay. Um, you kind of even just have, like, the following platforms and the fans, because at least then you can set your watch to it. But all three together, that's just too much. That is a, a horrible, horrible time. Uh, yeah, I skipped, um, I skipped the swingy one, the, the, uh, jungle, jungle base, jungle fortress, forest base, something like that. I, I skipped the end of that one because I just could not make it through. And this one is just, no, I'm done. I, nope. I did, I did the best I could. This level isn't controversial, I'm gonna be shocked. Yeah. Generally, it isn't great. It has some concepts and rooms that I find wonderful, but the final product is frustrating, yeah. The entire level is very unclear. Not an open way where you have options and path, but I'm just sometimes just not sure what's the right way. Yeah, at the start, it was very confusing. Also, it's just, I understand sticking to the theme with the black background, but there's really, there really needs to be a way, an easy way to tell, will this pit kill me or is this a way down? One recurring instance of this is that, oh, pits are not clearly defined, yeah, okay. Yep, yep. This is not every pit, but several of them just have the background extended down to make it look like the stage continues. The smarter thing to do here is to make the background, yeah, by the pit black. Another instance is that in the North Fair section, after you get rushed jet, it's very easy for you to jump back into the start of the section. Oh... Yeah, if you die, get back to the checkpoint. It's not worth redoing it, but... Yeah, okay, I didn't... I guess I managed to skip that, but the... 
No, I just, the final climb, I just couldn't do it. It was just way too many, too many things after the boss fight. At least put the checkpoint after the boss fight or something. It's, otherwise, it's just like, well, go through this thing again just to get a shot at the climb. I have enough Sky Tree. I've seen enough people have bad times with Sky Trees that I, I'm good. I don't want to also fight a boss first. Even if it is a very fast boss. Wiggy says, yikes! With a time frame this short, you shouldn't get this ambitious. I can see where you were coming from. The execution was severely lacking. First part was alright. Concrete shot was actually, yeah, the concrete shot used to open up some stuff and then the backtracking and you see like, oh yeah, I can go back. That was really cool. Again, this is one level that just, just tries too much. I, I get the fun of like the escape, but it's that shouldn't be the biggest challenge in your level. The actual like escape, like climb, that's, that would, you, it was just way too much. There's something needed to go there. Even just having the platforms by themselves would probably have been enough. Because you gotta feel good at this point. You've made it to the end of the level, but if that's the hardest point, that's just too much. Yeah, I guess Rush Jet doesn't really get used all that much at the end. And then there's Mother Brain. While looking impressive, the fight itself is very easy to cheese. What's annoying is that, yeah, when you die on the next part, you gotta redo Mother Brain. Yeah! Let's talk about the ending sequence. It's no. Just no. Yeah, I agree. 100% agree. Not only is it way too tight for what it's worth, but it's just plain annoying even when you get it right. And the fact that you gotta redo the boss every time. Yes, yes, this is, yes, this is what I've been saying. Yes, understand. Agree. M. Jacques liked this. A long, difficult Metroidvania style level with a wretched auto scroller segment and two few checkpoints. Now, where have I heard that before? <laughs> I don't know where you've heard that before. Is that a reference to something else? Oh, those of you who played, okay, there we go. Make a good Mega Man. You may remember my injury to that concept. You're right, right. I keep forgetting. M. Jacques is the one who made Sector Up Slot 6. <laughs> okay. You may remember hating Se Sector Upsilon 6 because it was amongst unpopular entries in the content. Fairly or unfairly, this is going to be judged in relation to my level because you can copy and paste most of the criticism and it'll apply perfectly to it. <laughs> Shoes on the other foot, but fair enough. Particularly sticking points here. Checkpoints are sparse, especially when the overall difficulty is so high and the level itself so full of pits and spikes, like at, yeah, at, the, at the end. The auto scroller segment is brutally difficult and insufficiently playtested. Uh, yep, yep, that one, that one, that was cool. That was, that was a neat level. It was just too much, but it was really cool. Background is an endless sea of black, which makes it impossible to tell when you're supposed to go down and waste if you just jumping down a pit. Yep. So these flaws are plainly glaring. Uh, however, if you're willing to look past them, the level itself is actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, it was just really neat. Yeah, the sense of progression, the really, yeah, satisfying cement, the satisfying concrete trick shots. Playing the opening stretch of the level backward with Rush Coral. It's just, it's cool. There's some really good stuff in there. It makes it all the while, all the more like disappointing that there's like, the blemishes are just so rough. It's so cool that the difficulty curve ratchets up with each change in music and scenery. Yeah! It's like, it's fun going toe to toe with a sniper Joe Mecca throughout the level. Yeah! Actually, yeah, that was kind of, they were kind of okay. Yeah. I think a lot of screens in this level have too little solid ground next to scene transition. Yeah, because sometimes you'll jump and then, oh, have to go back and forth just to position yourself. Oh yeah, it's weird that you have an unlimited ammo for Rush Coral and Jet, but not for Concrete Shot. Maybe because it can be used as a weapon, but I don't know. It's it's already like kind of tricky and you seem to have placed the enemies in, the, in positions where Concrete Shot would just not be very useful. Yeah. Reams, buddy. Let's talk. The idea was to emulate a Metroid game, but the problem is the level kind of gave up on it. Using Mega Man's many different mobility tools to make a short Metroidvania level. Yeah, that's a good, I, that's a good idea. Done right to be fun and unique. But, yeah. First area has some backtracking with some cool stuff. Probably, again, should unlimited ammo, yeah. The second area, less of a maze and more of a get the last tool so you can go left. Yeah. I'm also gonna say that when you make a level that winds around itself, Make sure it's impossible to reactivate an older checkpoint. Oh my gosh, is that possible? Let me tell it. That happened. Let me tell you. That's not fun. Oh gosh, that's rough. That's rough, buddy. Gives up on being the Metroid level as soon as the first area ends. Yeah, I guess I didn't notice, but I was just really into it. But yeah, I, I guess that's true. Yeah. 
That's not to say all the challenges were bad. The first section was mostly good. It's just it degraded as went on. That last area is something else, though. There's something nice about reskinning the Astro Man and base mini boss into Mother Brain, but to be honest, yeah, yeah, the button it's you don't know what you don't know what's going on. I didn't even realize it's a game of Simon Says. Yeah, if it was like uh, deterministic and it's always the same order, then that could have been interesting. But let me just be upfront and say the final escape is a nightmare. I'm so glad I'm not alone. Like, okay, no, it's 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 yeah, it's it's rough. You created a section that just has everything out to get you. Lava is rising, but the platforms are falling. But also surprise fans that I just had randomly despawned. And also enemies just meant to make the whole level thing even more painful. The whole thing even more painful. Only able to get through it by praying to Rush Coil and hoping that half the fan would despawn on the way out. Yeah. I'm sure it's possible. <laughs> but uh, I did not have the patience. Yeah, this, I, I feel that. The idea of emulating a Metroid game isn't a bad one. The idea of an escape sequence isn't a bad one. But call it time constraints or something else, it just couldn't work here. Yep. 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 100%. Alright, that's gonna be it for today. But first, let's talk to Frendo here. Big Telly! I am, I'm... I'm happy. That's great! I worked really hard. Absolutely. Yeah. What happens if I say something else? Everyone has different designs and mentalities and areas of expertise, and some mystery boxes are objectively easier to work with than others. That's totally fair. What if I'm having a bad time? What do you say? Oh no! Maybe you could skip ahead to tier 6 or 7, where the quality... You could also check the cabins. Maybe you'll find something to make the experience easier. I love Big Telly! Big Telly is such a good friend! Big Telly helps you based on what you're feeling. Oh, that's so good! That's really good. Yeah, we're, we have degrumped. Oh my gosh. What a good time. What a, what a good tally. What a good friend. This is great. Absolutely. R like, listens to you and then, like, tries to guide you based on your experience. What a, a blessed big tally indeed. What a friend. What a terrific friend. Next time we'll get to see the Tiki 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 Room. <laughs> All right. Ooh, 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 how about you? Brain break. Such a shame to see food, food go to waste. The, the, the family who just left barely touched their escargot kids meal. Oh no! You can tell from the product code etched on the side that this robot was settled to be scrapped several months ago. It's good to know that a restaurant is ethically responsible and only serves expired food. That's... kind of troubling. I don't know what to think of robot restaurants. Ah, 17 minutes late. Fair enough. <gasps> Monkiki! I love that I can eat here without worrying about my dietary restrictions. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to find a good restaurant for the banana-free menu. Huh. And finally, we're here next to Sheldon. Sheldon Egg Squire. Ah. Oh. Bye, Daisy, you're wonderful! You're the best. Love you, Daisy. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen, where there's no shame in skipping meals. Yes. Ah. Uh, well, we made it. Also, that's a good logo. Hi, Josephine. Josephine, because he's a fish. Arr! She's a fish named Josephine. It's wonderful. Ah, oh, I love this game so much. All right. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I gotta go shopping. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Duh. I love them. I love them so much. They're so good. They're so good. I love the costume lesbians. The enemy she's based on is named Yota. That makes sense. Mega Man hair. Rock. Break Man. Cut Man. Metal. Maestro. Who the heck is the custom? Oh yeah. You get Cerno!
<laughs> I love it. I love it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's go. We are now unstoppable. We are now the strongest possible robot. Strongest. Oh, the buster even changes. There's a custom buster. Oh my gosh, there's a custom buster. Oh, right, right. There's literally a... Wee! Oh, she's just... Wee! She's so good! Snakes! Swish! Swish! She gets a boost! Oh my gosh, she gets a boost from one of the other fairies! That's- oh, number nine. Yeah, you gotta have a number nine. Yeah, makes sense. That's just B. B is, is the same, that's fine. I love this. It's so good! Good. I love- okay, yes. Next time, next time we'll have to... Is it Dayote? It could be. I... I'm not super familiar with the other fairies. Yay! Just get a boost from your friend. Okay, yes, yes. Good decision, good decision. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay. Alright, we'll see you next time. Ending on a high note. Good gosh. See you next time on Good Morning Mega Man. What a good time. What a good time. Heck yeah. Green side ponytail is Dayose. Perfect. Yeah, the mightiest number nine. Ah. Thank you so much, everybody. Please take care of you, because you're worth it. And you deserve it. And see you tomorrow for more Good Morning Mega Man. And until then, please, please, just keep making wonderful things together. Bye.